excited for today's video. I've been wanting to do this one for a while, primarily because I think 2022, 2023 are years where fashion has really sort of, I think, entered a new phase. Coming out of the pandemic, the world is in a lot of turmoil, and I think we're seeing a large shift in the silhouettes we wear and just in the way things are styled and trends on the runway. So there are a couple of items in my closet that are classics very timeless, but that I'm feeling are a little bit like less ubiquitous in the world and on runways. And I wanted to challenge myself to style them in a more current way. Cause I think these are pieces that if styled in an older way, they can come across as looking dated, but they're not, they're not dated pieces. They're all incredibly classic and super versatile. But I think this is why we can get bored of our closets or bored of our basic timeless pieces because we're still styling them in a way that feels older or maybe a little bit dated. When really, once you just sort of rejig them a little bit, they become the classics that they always were. So I've got five items for you. If I use the term like dated or like maybe some of these show up on like these like lists of what's in and what's out, just a reminder that you don't have to listen to any of that because it's about you and what you like and what you love. And none of this is like hard and fast rules. These are just ideas to get you to be more creative with what you already have. Before we jump on in, don't forget to grab a ticket for my live virtual shop your closet session coming up on February 4th. I will leave all the details for tickets and everything in the description box below. It's a really great interactive two hours. We have two guests whose closets we shop. You get to see how I use elements of style to get more creative with what you already have in real time with other people. So hopefully join us. So let's jump on in, I promise. Let's go. Faux leather leggings. I think the faux leather legging has been on maybe a few lists as something that is out of date, but I actually think the faux leather legging is fantastic. It works in so many situations, particularly travel. Like I think it's still such a great piece that is so versatile. Here's the other thing. If we look at the runways from fall winter 2022, we saw that tight legging silhouette in interesting textures on runways. They were styled alongside these slouchy languid tailored silhouettes silhouettes that we're seeing more now. So both silhouettes can work. And I don't think the faux leather legging is dead. I think so many of us have probably accumulated a faux leather legging or something similar, like something tight with that interesting texture. And the way that I would style it for now is to really, really play up the proportions and juxtaposing that fitted silhouette with a balanced proportion on top and bottom. I would also make sure that you are balancing out the proportion on the bottom as well with a hefty boot or what we've also been seeing, which could really update this style, would also be with like a really sort of sexy edgy shoe of some sort, like a sandal with a sparkly sock or something really wild and editorial because we also saw a lot of shears and a lot of these like transparent kind of really wild, almost party accessories coming out of 2022. If you don't have a chunkier boot or anything like that and you don't live in a climate that would allow you to wear like a super sexy shoe or stiletto or something like that, I think you could equally get away with this going the more classic route like we saw at Céline. So even though Céline had more of a straight leg versus the faux leather legging exactly, the silhouette was similar in that the leg was tapered and fitted and we saw these nice knee-high boots coming down the runway. And that's something that is so easy to replicate if you already have knee-high boots in your wardrobe. One note about styling it in the classic version is to keep those layers in effect. So grabbing maybe like a hoodie and a blazer or something like that. I, I found the layering to be a styling tweak here that will really update your faux leather leggings well. Next up. The booty, oh my gosh, these were so popular. I have a bunch, I'm sure many of us do. The booty was popular for a very long time, like short little ankle boot. And now we've seen the shafts of boots rising to about mid calf to like that really beautiful 70s kind of just at the knee. And this is fine. It is no reason to get rid of your booties. However, I wouldn't style them in the way we've been styling them for all those years. Like I would avoid wearing a short ankle booty with 
with like a denim that also shows a little bit of ankle. This is actually still really cute. It can still be really flattering if that's how you like to wear your boots and jeans. Great, fantastic. How I would be styling my booties this season to make them feel a little bit more fresh and current is simply styling them with whatever sort of wider or oversized trouser and denim silhouettes I've accumulated. I think a lot of us are sort of starting to touch on the straight leg denims, wider leg denims, boot cut trousers and denim. And this is fantastic because you can't tell what kind of boot you're wearing under any of these things. And I'm just gonna keep the sock and the stockings and whatever in the same color as the booty so that if I do cross my legs or whatever, there's just that nice elongating effect. And finally, I don't think there's anything wrong with wearing your booties with a tight or stocking in a similar color. Or again, if you have a little bit more of like an interesting sense of style, wear it with a really fun contrasting tight. Bright, colorful, interesting tights with embellishments are more popular. So if you have some of those, then pair those with your booties because that's what's gonna freshen up the look. You guessed it, the skinny jean. I can't talk about things being outdated without talking about the skinny jean. If you never liked skinny jeans, great, fantastic. But if you like the skinny jean, yay. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a silhouette that works for you. I would treat these in almost the exact same way as the faux leather leggings because this is really about silhouette. Here is how I would not style the skinny jean this season. I wouldn't wear it sort of rolled up. I would also not wear them with something tight on top. I would definitely take advantage again of these oversized silhouettes that we're seeing and mixing those with the skinny jean. I think a skinny jean would look fantastic with like a blazer that's slightly oversized. Doesn't even have to be super oversized. A blazer already has such a strong silhouette that if you belt it, you're gonna get that very similar silhouette that we are looking for this season. It'll feel oversized because cinching the blazer is going to accentuate the bigness of the blazer everywhere else. Add a knee high or a tall boot if you can. And if all you have are shorter boots, that's fine too. I would just try and keep the shorter boot same color as the denim or, you know, like if you've got like a black skinny jean or grab a sock that's a similar color as your booty so that way things just feel a little bit more elongated. The other thing I would do with the skinny jean is wear it with sort of like a cocoon or an oversized coat. If your coat even isn't oversized and you have more like a tailored long wool coat, this will still do the job. It will create a beautiful like long classic lined silhouette. Wear with sort of whatever shoes work for you. I think this is such a beautiful classic tailored and clean look that really looks wonderful with a skinny jean. The tailored denim jacket. So something that looks like this. Now we are seeing denim jackets oversized. What do you want? This is like the word of the year, oversized everything. How I would not style this is like that very typical thing that we saw in like, I don't know, 2016, 2015-ish with a pair of skinnies or leggings and then something long underneath, almost like a tunic top with a sneaker or a booty. How I would use this instead, I would turn it into a layering piece. I would eliminate it from being the focal point of the outfit. So especially because we're talking about winter, I would do like a turtleneck, then this on top, button it up a little so that you can leave your wool coat open and really appreciate this as a layering piece. In the winter, the coat is truly part of the outfit. So you're doubling up on your coats and you're really making some great use out of this. All we're appreciating from this when you're wearing it layered under a wool coat and as part of that overall outfit is the texture, is the color. That's what it's bringing to the look. It's not so much about the silhouette. We're taking away that part of it. Another way that I would wear this is under an oversized blazer. Again, you can choose to button it up a little or not. Wear it with whatever silhouette pant works for you. This with an oversized blazer would look exceptional with a trouser because you're getting such an interesting mix of styles and texture with that as well. Finally, the white sneaker, like the classic tennis sneaker that was very popular. We saw this white sneaker worn with like cute little floral wrap dresses, with our skinnies, with our leggings. I think a white sneaker is still classic. We definitely saw it on many runways recently, but I think they're a lot less ubiquitous these days. I think sneakers have kind of tended towards a much more athletic, very functional vibe. A lot of these like retro, like think of the classic New Balance. However, no need to get rid of your classic white 
white sneakers, I think there is a very simple fix. In winter, if you're in a warmer climate and sneakers are something that you can actually wear, then I think the key to making them feel fresh, wearing them with slouchy tailored separates. They don't even necessarily have to be that slouchy factor. The silhouette of that slouchy tailoring, that relaxed tailoring, could be as simple as wearing them with a pair of wide leg trousers, a boot cut wide wool trouser. It's really about that contrast here. It's, it's so much about that athletic comfort paired with a more luxe fabric. As long as you're nailing that tailored effect, getting a little bit more of that volume, that relaxed volume around the shoe as well is huge. So that is what I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you thought in the comments below and if there are other pieces that you are having trouble styling because you feel like maybe they're out of date or they're not current. I had a lot of fun creating this video, so I would love to do more if you have questions or suggestions around it. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it or if you learned something new. Hit subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget, I have tickets to my live virtual Shop Your Closet studio where we shop the closets of two amazing people live in real time. It's a lot of fun. I hope to see you there. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, a wonderful week ahead. I so appreciate you being here. Ciao.